Welcome back to Wake Up America. I'm Alex Kramer. Well, the 95th Academy Awards last night were safe and straightforward as the show finally moved past one of the most infamous moments in history with Will Smith charging Chris Rock on stage. So joining us for the important details is former publicist and author of the four-word answer, Rob Shooter, and host of Front and Center podcast, entertainment media expert, Jackie Jordan. Good morning to you both. Um, Rob, I'm going to start with you and last night's best picture, which was everything, everywhere, all at once. I mean, what a night for that film. They were coming in kind of the favorites because they won, they won four SAG Awards heading into here. I know some people were disappointed that Top Gun did not win, but it was quite the night for indie films. Yeah, absolutely. Swept seven Academy Awards in total. They won three of the four big acting categories. So it really, really was their night. A little early indication is when Tom Cruise did not show up. So we knew during the red carpet that, oh, maybe this is a sign. It ultimately proved right. And Top Gun did not win. So a massive night for everything everywhere. It's a strange movie. It's a very odd, quirky movie. Even some of the actors in the movie are not exactly sure what this movie is about. <laughs> Nevertheless, though, it's about $100 million and a, a, a huge night for them. My reporters in LA tell me they are still partying. It's been a long, long night. <laughs> I bet they are. Okay, that makes me feel a little bit better that they own actors don't even know what the film is really about because I certainly do not. Maybe I'll, I'll <laughs> definitely have to check it out. Um, Jackie, so another of the seven awards, of course, like Rob Shooter just said, every everything, every Everywhere, all at once. It was also produced the first Asian to win a Best Actress with Michelle Yeoh. She made a Nikki Haley joke in reference to being in her prime. But uh, what a moment for her last night. Yeah, absolutely. It was beautiful. I, I, the Asian community definitely had a big win last night, a big score, without it having to be a political conversation. It was got to be simply about the, the art itself. I personally was disappointed that Top Gun didn't get more nods um, and that Tom Cruise was a was not there. Um, for, as was a no-show, and I can't blame him, but I was really happy to see Michelle Yeoh win. Um, I was also excited to see uh, Brendan Fraser uh, make his win, too. Um, you know, we have been rooting him on. And the whole theme last night was really about the underdog, you know, with the Brendan Fraser coming back, you know, with Michelle Yeoh's comment um, that she hasn't passed her prime, and, you know, with Keon Kwan, you know, everybody's been rooting him on. He's definitely a Gen X favorite. We obviously grew up with him in Goonies and, and um, Temple of Doom, and to see Harrison Ford give the um, Academy Award for the Best Picture. It was, you know, it was definitely had a lot of nostalgia in it. And the overall event to me was very subdued. A lot of black and a lot of white in terms of the attire, not a lot of red popping, um, just a little sprinkles of gold and a little sprinkles of silver on the champagne carpet. Yeah, I was not blown away, I don't think, by any of the uh, the dresses. But I do want to circle back to something that you just mentioned about Quan. You know, he as a, as a younger actor, he was in Deanna Jones, The Temple of Doom. He was in Goonies. I mean, Rob, he had kind of given up on his acting career at that point. Um, he really came back and he said, do not give up on your dreams. Yeah. Yeah, it is really emotional. One of the early awards, which I think was clever, so it really sucked us into what was a very, very long night. It did go on and on and on. But not only did he give up, the business gave up on him. He just didn't get auditions anymore. So after this amazing sort of child star story, and it happened so many times, the industry just moved on and left him behind. And so he was finding himself doing odd jobs. And then this was a, a big comeback, which really shouldn't have happened. When people were making this movie, when the actors and actresses were making, making this movie, they had no idea that it was gonna be a success. They certainly had no idea it was going to go on to win all these awards. And they didn't earn the big Julia Roberts money either for making this movie. So they need to keep making movies to keep paying their bills. They're not rich, rich, super rich Hollywood people. And so I hope this will change that and they'll get great opportunities now. Yeah, I mean, like Jackie said, it was kind of the night of the underdogs, a lot of first timers. Uh, what a special night for a whole lot Did of people. Did you notice they didn't cut off any of the speeches either? They really let everybody do their speeches. The whole timer thing didn't go off. It was just kind of low key. It was also, they didn't cut the categories out. So it kind of went back to what we had expected in yeah. 
uh, the in the Academy Awards. And also, I thought Jimmy Kimmel, you know, I liked his opening monologue because he just talked about the movies and summarized a lot of the awards without making it political. I yeah. mean, he had a couple of his punches in there, but... Yes, thank goodness it wasn't Jimmy too, Kimmel. too political. Uh, <laughs> Rob Shooter, Jackie Jordan, always a pleasure to have you both on. Really appreciate thank you, it. Alex. Great to see you. Take care.